So today I wanna to show you how to paint a simple strawberry, just a little one like this. You're gonna need a pencil. I like to use a little kneaded eraser, a small piece of watercolor paper. This one's just three by three, some watercolor paints, a brush, and I'm using a size 10 round watercolor brush, and then a jar of water, and I like to have a little towel or a paper towel ready too. Okay, so here we go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to draw our strawberry with our pencil. We're gonna press really lightly on the pencil. That's the most important thing because then it makes it really easy to erase. And you can use a regular pencil and eraser or I've got this little mechanical one. It's kind of triangular in shape, but look at how big these curves are. So I'm just gonna roughly do some sort of a shape that looks like a strawberry. It can really be like a blob, it doesn't matter. Strawberry-ish. And this will just sort of be maybe dip at the top, but it's not gonna come in like a heart, but the rest of it looks kind of heart-like. Up here, we're gonna do right from that center up and away, just a curved line. Take it over and then curve it back down. And now we wanna do some of these little leaves. And see how three of them are over the strawberry and two of them come kind of up and off. So I'm gonna just start with those ones, starting at that center, up and away, and these are kind of like a smiley face on one side and uh, a sad face on the other. Any way you get them, and if you don't like them, you can just erase them, redo them, and now we're ready to paint. Before we start painting, we wanna mix up our paint. So you'll need to grab some water and get a few different colors because we want some nice variation in there. So this one was a pink. I'm grabbing a little bit of paint. I already had some water and turning these into little puddles. I'll clean out my brush. And I wanna grab some sort of an orange, make that into a puddle. So if there's not enough water, you just add some water to it. And maybe a yellow as well. The yellow, I'll stick it up here so we can see it. The yellow is just a really fun little touch, you'll see. And then maybe another red, just making a puddle. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Now we're ready to go. I'm gonna be working from these puddles and I'm gonna take one of the colors and add a little bit more water to it. So it starts with a light color. And we're gonna just take our brush. I'm gonna use the tip along the edges. See how I'm gonna run it along the edge, but also lean into the belly. This is the belly of the brush. Just sort of fill in all the way through. We're going around the leaves and putting this really light colored paint covering this whole strawberry. Do you see how glossy it is still and how wet? We want the whole thing to remain wet. Now we'll take our brush, we're not gonna add any water and we're gonna go right into either the puddle we created or we could go into our paints. And so I'll take this paint, I'm gonna get some dark pink here and I'm gonna just touch it. Let me zoom in so you can see what happens. I'm just gonna touch it to some of these edges and now you're seeing the technique of wet on wet and what happens when we just get to play with paint uh, and let it just let the water do the blending. So I'm gonna take this brush now and clean it. So I'm pressing it into the bottom of my water jar, getting a nice clean brush. And I'll go into some of those puddles that we already created, like this yellow here. And I wanna, while it's wet, swipe it in. Now if it dried, it just wasn't gonna blend. Um, so I'm gonna grab some orange here as well. This is wet on wet. Moving it in, leaving it. I want one more color and it's a darker orange. I'm just gonna kind of stick it here and maybe on the edges. Now, you can either let it dry or you can make it dry by using a little heat gun. I'm gonna do that real quick. Now that that's dry, I'm gonna quick make a little puddle of some green paint. Okay, I've got this here and it's ready to go when it's wet. I've already tested the color here. And since we dried it, we know we don't have any wet paint, so my colors aren't gonna bleed and I can just go ahead and fill this in with the light green. In a minute, I'll also use a darker green, so make sure your first one is lighter. I've got the whole thing filled in. I'm gonna dry it again. You can use a heat gun like this, or you can use a hair dryer if you're at home and you don't have one. So now I'm gonna do a little bit more green. I'm gonna just find a darker green. I don't want it as much water now though. I've got a dark green here. And I wanna use just the tip of my brush, very little water so that we maintain control. And I'm gonna do just this little line, sort of either under 
or to the right of things. It's just gonna look like this little shadow. And we have one last step. I don't need to dry anything because it's in a different spot. So do you see how we have our little seeds? I like to take a nice dark red and get a teeny tiny puddle of it here. You could even add a little bit of green into it if you wanted it to get very dark, but I'm not gonna for this one. And then we're gonna take and just do these little tiny dots. I like to do them on a bit of like a curved diagonal line and then kind of alternate. And you're almost there. You'll dry the whole thing and then sign it because you nailed it. This one got a little bit bigger. You know what I might do? Just make one over here a little bit bigger too. And you nailed it. There's your strawberry. If this is your first one and you don't like how it turned out, let me just remind you it's just a piece of paper. Grab some more, do the same thing on repeat, and then pick your favorite.